Hi, my name is Jim Williams. I'm the Outdoor Recreation Coordinator for the Cerebral Palsy Association of the North Country. I want to thank you for coming out here today and uh, joining us for the Polar Bear Golf Fundraiser. The funds that we're raising today go to support the Outdoor Recreation Program. Now, one of the main goals of the Outdoor Recreation Program is so that the people who participate in these activities have fun, but there's a lot more to it than that. Uh, each, you know, each time we all get together, one thing we like to uh, support and encourage is teamwork and learning and taking risk in a smart way. Uh, I want people to come away from these activities uh, feeling like, like they did something new, that they pushed themselves beyond their comfort level, that they tried something new in a new way with new people in a new environment. And I do believe when people uh, go through that whole process of learning something new, uh, a completely different manner, that it really teaches them to learn other skills in other parts of their life. Jim took me out of my comfort zone when we went to Camp Overlook in Malone, New York. I have um, balance issues and stuff like that. And when we did zip lining in Canton, you get hooked in and then you go climb up a tree. Hmm. And I have a fear of heights, but I got over it and it was fun. I did it a second time. So th this program has been going on for over 10 years. When we first started, we started doing a canoe program during the summertime, and the growth of the program has been spurred by the participants themselves. Uh, a lot of the ideas for new activities have come from what uh, the participants really want to do. What types of things are you involved in? Um, camping, over swimming, toilet golf. I love outdoor rec. Outdoor rec is a lot of fun. And um, I do all kinds of things with that. And, and go places, go for walks, and go swimming, and exercise groups, and all kinds of things. I like to do stuff with Jim, like canoeing, like row rafting, swimming with Jim. I like go fishing. Hiking and stuff like that. Do you enjoy the outdoor recreation program? Yes, I do. Yeah. A lot. You know, some people may say, like, well, outdoor recreation, is that important too? Well, uh, you know, some would say that, you know, recreation is not just a, um, a privilege, it's a right. Because, you know, recreation are those moments of our times when we literally recreate ourselves. We can rejuvenate ourselves, um, we can uh, add spice to our lives. These are the things that give our lives meaning. And you know, this is uh, these are the kind of things that uh, bring us joy, uh, bring us a sense of accomplishment, uh, bring us a sense of camaraderie when we're doing something with other people and we're all sharing the same experience. Is this is this program important to you? Yes. Yeah, Why is it important to you? Because uh, it helps me meet people. Okay. It gets to be with people, and I enjoy being with other people and socializing and. I'm a very talkative person, so I just love to talk. Do you think that the outdoor recreation program has helped people meet other people? Like, do you think you've built friendships? Yes, I have. I built a lot of friendships. So a lot of times people who have uh, different types of disabilities may not have the opportunity to go out and experience uh, some of the activities that we're, we're providing. And, a lot, and oftentimes for people with disabilities, uh, that reason can be that nobody's ever asked them if they wanted to go whitewater rafting, um, that they don't have the funds to do these types of activities, and that the activities may, may not always be accessible. Can you tell uh, Rebecca how you got on the zip line? They uh they put they put a thing on my on my back, hook me up in the in the. Other people would have to climb up a tree to get to the top of the, uh, to get to the zip line. But with Stephen, we were able to lift him up a ladder and hooked him onto the. Well, him. Pulled him back up to the top. And he sits down. Wow. That was sweet. The funds we're raising here tonight through the Polar Bear Golf Fundraiser helps to us to offset those costs for activities that, that cost us money that the participants may not always be able to afford themselves. Having a disability offers so many, many challenges, including uh, social economic challenges. Um, it's difficult to uh, pursue gainful employment with a disability. It's difficult to uh, support one's own transportation when you have a disability. Uh, and these are added costs to uh, the activities we're providing to people.
And so your funds tonight will help uh, make it possible for somebody to go horseback riding, to go camping, to go whitewater rafting, um, and, and, and many other activities. So thank you very much for your support. Why do you think it would be important for people to give money to Outdoor Rec? So that we can have enough money to do other things that we would like to do and go places that people wanted to go to and, and just have a good time being able to get outdoors and being able to have enough money to do the things that they want to do and need to do. Why should people donate? To this program. Too. Help the fun people, help people out. The dream is that we do more fun stuff. You know, I mean, when you do the building, 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 you Because it will help people get out more and see the, um, conquer their fears and Maybe donated money will give more outings to us because we need money because we need more equipment, more, more boats, more the, the rig, the, the boat rig that Jim has needs to be updated and so does his van, just so you know. Thank you for supporting the Outdoor Recreation Program. Cerebral palsy is considered a neurological disorder caused by a non-progressive brain injury or malformation that occurs when the child's brain is under development. CP primarily affects body movement and muscle coordination. Though CP can be defined, having CP does not define the person that has the condition.